Hey everybody, it's Jeff, and I'm back with another video. This time, I'm looking at this Spider-Man magazine that my wife got me. Um, she surprised me with it. I got home from groceries with her, and she's like, you got a surprise in the bag there, so... I love the Spider-Man movies. Of course, front and center, you got the uh, original Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire, from the movies anyways. You got Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, and you got an array of villains and stuff. Uh, Tom Holland. So, I thought I'd just go through this. I haven't really seen anybody look at this online. Uh, so, I'm just going to try to slide this back and forth just so you can get a look at the, the pages here. I'm trying to find a good way to do this, but it's not exactly easy the way it's set up here but uh this is the uh magazine i need to find a better way to show off these kind of things miles morales <coughs> excuse me i didn't mean to do that it was just a gut reaction to miles morales <laughs> And the Spider-Verse, that's all they talk about. Spider-Verse, Multiverse, Universe. I've never seen the Spider-Verse cartoon, and I'm not going to. Um, I'm not interested. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't show the other side of this one. There's that. They got a lot of different Spider-Man stuff in here. Again, sorry for the crappy way of filming this. I just, you know, it's how it is. Um, it is what it is. The worst thing in the world. Hmm. We got Stan Lee. Creator of uh, co-creator, I guess, of uh, Spider-Man. Steve Ditko was the artist, and there was a debate between the two of the men who created it, and so it was decided that it was going to be co-creation because Steve Ditko designed Spider-Man's outfit. Stanley came up with the whole idea of a teenage superhero because back then. Superheroes, teenagers were sidekicks. They weren't the hero themselves. So it was cut uh, like Bucky from Captain America and stuff like that. I like that picture of Stan Lee. This is a really nice book. How much was this book? Let's see if I can see it here. Uh, Holy crap, 14 bucks. Oh, well. Sheesh. Sorry, dear. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, we're talking about different comics here. Oh, man, I had both those. <laughs> and I had these ones, too, on the bottom page there. Bottom of the page. I had those. Oh, my goodness. I had all these. <laughs> wow. Well, I know I didn't have that one that had it. Uh, not sure. Yeah, there were a lot of them I had. I had a huge collection of comics, but at this point in my life, I couldn't lift those boxes to save my life. I mean, when we uh, sold them, we brought them to different comic shops that pretty much raped us on the price, but... Um, I was able to lug them then because I had them in half size boxes Which is what I suggest for people because the, the big long comic boxes are 8 billion tons They weigh so much. It's not even funny uh, JK Simmons. He is so good. I love him as an actor. He is really good He's also very rugged now because he did a lot of working out for uh, the DC movies that he's in as Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, so. Yeah, my favorite Spider-Man movies are the Tobey Maguire ones. You know, I was going through a very rough patch when those movies were coming out, especially the first one. I was having a lot of problems, and uh, it really was nice to have that movie around and the game for the PS2 and the Xbox and the GameCube. They were out. Funny thing. If you're going to buy that Spider-Man game for, you know, the original one, the movie from, well, Tommy McGuire, you really want to get, I hate to say it, the Xbox one, the regular original Xbox. And the reason is, is because it has an extra level that the other two don't have. And probably the computer version too. I, computer version, eh, I can't get it to run right. I don't know. I tried. So yeah, we're just uh, showing up all this stuff here. I like this magazine. It's got a ton of pictures. So you can see everything and know what it all looks like. And we're up to page 52 right here. 52. That lizard design is pretty awesome right there. Kind of wish he had his lab coat. You know, well, I know he has his lab coat here, but you know, <clears throat> that he had it on the whole time. And look, we got Venom. Oh, those Venom movies with uh, Tom Hardy. Is that his name? Really good movies. Funny thing about this shot where Spider-Man is punching through uh, Sandman. The funny thing is, is that <clears throat> that's not as digitized as you would think. They hired a man who was an amputee and he was in a boxer. He was a boxer originally and he lost part of his arm in some accident. So they dressed him up as Spider-Man and Madden put the stub of his arm literally against the actor. Uh, oh, I can't remember the man's name, but uh, to make it look like he actually put his hand through him. So, you know, on a fake fist on that back, but yeah, that, he's actually an amputee, the man who played Spider-Man for that clip. <clears throat> yeah, we had the Green Goblin. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of people didn't like that design because they likened him under a Power Ranger villain, you know, with the mask and everything. I liked it, but I love Power Rangers, so it doesn't cross my eyes any. sorts of stuff here yeah, we got like a <coughs> Tom Holland I, li I like the the gold and the way the suit looks there that's kind of cool it's a different kind of spider-man suit but my favorite will always be um, Andrew Garfield uh, excuse me, <laughs> I like him too, but um, um, Toby McGuire, darn it. Andrew Garfield here. I didn't care for this Spider-Man suit because the red thing going down, it just abruptly stops. It just meters out. It's like they just stopped designing it. So I didn't care for that one. I like the suit in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But not this one. I didn't care for that one at all. <clears throat> and the design of it, when you look at it, the red and stuff, the whole, well, I guess the whole suit, it kind of has the texture like a basketball. You know, if you look at a basketball and then you look at the texture of that suit, it's very similar. It looks, well, it probably is kind of a rubberish type leather thing, but I'm sure that's what it is. Could be, could be. You never know. And yes, this actor is not blonde like uh, Flash Thompson is. Oh uh, no, no, Ned, 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 uh, Ned Leeds, I guess it would be. Okay, that looks really good. Outfits are really nice, and of course we got the uh, MJ who's not Mary Jane, it's Michelle Jones or whatever it is. So they had to change that, of course, gotta change everything. You can't just leave things the way they are. Nope, can't. All right, so we got the different spider dudes there. 
there. Yeah, so we found, well, my wife found this on one of the end cabs for the uh, ca cash registers. They'll have these magazines. Like I have a Rocky one I should show off at some point. Okay, there's nothing on either side, so I can just put it for the picture there. Like that, very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Skip that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not watching the Spider-Verse stuff because of all the identity politics and all the weirdo stuff to put in. Oh, okay, now here we are with the TV show with Nicholas Hammond. That thing ran for like 13, 14 episodes. You know, Night of the Clones, Escort to Danger, all sorts of them. But honestly, it was pretty crappy. I mean, it's like he only seemed to climb like one building. It's like they only had a permit to let the stuntman do one building. So they tried to shoot it from different angles, but they used that certain shot, if you've watched it, where he spins his web and it catches on to like a flagpole and it's always the same shot. They couldn't have filmed it differently. It was always the same shot. A lot of shows in the 70s and 80s, they reused so much footage and it's like, you know, we're not dumb, right? We watch this every week. We like the show. We're not stupid. Why don't you stop phoning it in and make an effort and let's see some different uh, shots. You know, the A-Team, oh man, they always use their same footage over and over. The TV show V, like the visitors and all that, they reuse so many. They use major shots from like their little, well, their movies on, their TV movies and that kind of thing. It's like, they don't tend to do that as much now because people aren't stupid. And plus, everything goes to DVD, digital, Blu-ray, 4K, all that. So people are gonna remember, and they're gonna go, hey, I saw this in just 10 episodes I watched. It's like The Incredible Hulk with Lou Ferrigno. He would always run down this specific alley. It's like the same alley, the same shot, everything. It was always that way. It's like. Are there other alleys he could run down? It's like, they did that too on The Incredible Hulk. But again, late 70s, early 80s. It'd be good if, good if they, oh, look at that, the Lego. Uh, let's see if I can get it better. I probably can't, no, I can't. But the, the Lego building there for the Daily Bugle. Well, I think I'm at the end here. Here we go. And that's the end of the book there, that's what it looks like. There's the cover again. So you could probably find this at your local Walmart like my wife did. And I thank you honey for buying that. Yeah, it's not a bad book. It's a little pricey though. Again, you're looking at 14 bucks. They, they tend to make these books on the end caps. I'm trying to get a better shot here. On the end caps, a little expensive. They're thick, they're good quality, but man, you know, I'm an old guy, I'm used to buying stuff cheap, and as I'm getting older, it's like, my God, why is everything so much? That's what our parents think. Our, yeah, my, our, our parents, and how about grandparents, they must look at things and pass out. Like, I can't believe it. You know, I remember, oh, I know I sound like an old man, but I remember buying like Reese's peanut butter cups for like a quarter. Now they're like a buck something, I mean, it's ridiculous, but. Okay, I'm not going to carry on. I'm an old man. Accept it. All right. Well, that's the magazine. Thanks for watching and see you next time.